This is Ralph Wiggum, arguably the dumbest character in The Simpsons that has become the inspiration for a clever Claude code plugin designed to run Claude through the same prompt over and over again until it's actually done, even if it keeps failing. Naive and relentless persistence, perfect for lazy models that give up too early and don't complete the task. But why did Anthropic even create this? And won't this cost a lot of money since it's running the same prompt again and again? Let's find out. And before we do, don't forget to hit subscribe. Now, before I get into using Ralph with Claude Code, you need to understand where the idea came from because it's pretty weird. Goat farmer Jeffrey Huntley, who I don't think is an actual goat farmer, but that's beside the point, came up with a technique earlier this year he called Ralph, which is essentially an infinite bash while loop that takes a prompt, gives it to an agent, then waits for the response and gives the agent back the exact same prompt again. So this is what it looks like to run a prompt with AMP, and this is what it looks like to use with Claude Code. It's simple, but very powerful, because if you give the agent a clear completion criteria and a completion signal, you can essentially leave it running overnight and wake up to a completed task. Jeff spoke about this technique at a talk and an engineer used it with lots of agents to deliver, review and test an MVP for under $300, whereas it would have cost him 50,000 to hire a contractor. And during a YC hackathon, the repo mirror team used it to ship six different repos overnight, one of which was a complete rewrite of browser use from Python to TypeScript, which made the founder smile. It was also used to create a brand new programming language from scratch in under three months, which let's just say is not a language I plan to use anytime soon. But if you think the Anthropic team wrote a one-line bash script and turned that into a plugin, you'd be very wrong because the team have done a lot of work to properly integrate it into Claude code. The way it works is you type the Ralph slash command, give it your prompt at the completion promise, which can be complete or done. And you can also add a max iteration, which we'll talk more about later. And it uses this information to create a state file when it starts running. But instead of relying on a bash loop, it uses the Claude stop hook, which you can learn all about in this video. But essentially the stop hook usually runs when Claude code has finished a task. And in this case, checks for any active loops by passing the state file, reads the latest output, and if it can't find the completion promise, it triggers Claude to run the same prompt again. So Claude will go back, look at the code it's produced and improved it based on the prompt if it's missed anything out. Let's go through a quick demo. This is a Python script I use to delay audio from my mic when I'm recording. And if I wanted to convert this Python script to TypeScript, I can use Ralph with my prompt MD file and give it a completion promise of done. I'll hit enter to let it go to work. And usually if I run this in a coding agent without Ralph, the agent will complete the task and will generate some code for me, but parts of the code won't work. But luckily inside my prompt MD file, I've told it to write passing tests. So hopefully it will write tests and run those tests on the script until they pass. Let's fast forward this process. And now if we run the script, we can see it's running correctly, detecting my audio devices and everything is written in TypeScript, just like I asked it. It's even generated some tests using the bun test module. Now this is all good if you're on a super expensive Claude plan or have deep pockets if you're using API based pricing. But if you want to use an expensive model like Opus and don't want to wake up to a huge bill, then this is where the max iterations flag comes in useful. This prevents infinite loops by stopping iterations at a number set by you. So each time the stop hook triggers Claude to rerun the prompt, it increments the max iterations number and will stop when it hits the number specified. But this isn't the only thing to consider when using the Ralph plugin. You also have to use it with clear completion criteria. So don't say make it good or make it pretty. If you have a complex task, break things down into incremental steps and also don't use it for tasks that require human judgment. Personally, I think it would be great to pair Ralph with something like beads, which will give it incremental steps and will make sure it stays on the right path. But you may have also noticed we're less than 10K away from hitting 100K subscribers, which is absolutely amazing. So if you haven't done so already, go ahead and hit that subscribe button.